Welcome back to my channel. Today we are uh, packing to go to Canada and I just want to go over a few things that we bring on the trip. So um, let's get into it. These are the um, boxes that we use. They're pretty large. Containers. We bought them from Costco for like a few dollars. Some other things that we're bringing, um, we're bringing a heater for the tent because it's supposed to be pretty cold. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I'm scared. <laughs> uh, then we also bring some hand soap. Last time on our trip, uh, my hands got really, really dry from washing the dishes with like the concentrated camp soap. So um, this is just kind of to like help myself. Then we also uh, bought one of these monkey mats. Uh, it's from like Shark Tank. We use this uh, to just, you put it on the ground so that we can like change and our feet don't have to be like all dirty or we're not like stepping on like the dirty ground. Then we also brought some hammocks. We just bought these from like Walmart. They are heavier. Um, I'm not sure how much they weigh, but they're heavier than the normal ones. You can get like a lighter one for a little bit more money, but we just got some cheap ones since we just normally use them when we're camping. Then we also have this fan for the tent, just like clips on battery operated. Um, it lasts basically all night. And then we also have some bear mace because there's some bears in the mountains in Montana and then also Canada. So hopefully we won't run into any but just in case. Then we have this new floaty device. Um, it's a giga pump. Um, you just kind of charge it and stick this little thing on here. <laughs> Blow stuff up really fast. on vacation? Huh? Are we? Hmm? And then um, to charge all of our stuff we have this super battery pack. It's kind of heavy but it's supposed to charge everything. We also are bringing like laundry detergent because since we're going for so long, um, we're gonna have to do laundry at some point. I got like our bags, like garbage bags, uh, just some plastic bags, some toilet bags. Can't forget the teepee. And for the dogs, um, I'm bringing both of them a life jacket just then so then I don't have to really worry as much I know they're okay <laughs> we also have this for Hawk to hold all this food just for like hiking and I don't have to carry all the food and we also have some of We have like these leashes for when we're at camp. Uh, 
We just like clip the dogs to them and then put like their little light on them so that it's like easy to see them at night and they don't like go running away. <laughs> the next things that we have, um, we bring two of the 40 degree Ozark Trail sleeping bags. We mostly just like use these for the dogs just so they have um, some extra blankets. And then Alex and I both have the 20 degree Farland uh, sleeping bags. Mine is uh, the mummy one and then Alex just has like the normal rectangle one. They're pretty, pretty warm. Two just like normal pillows with us. We tried those like the blow up pillows or the roll up pillows for camping and it's just not comfortable when you're sleeping more than like a few nights. So we just went and bought like an extra set of pillows and we keep the um, four sleeping bags, two pillows, um, and then like an extra blanket all packed inside the tent. So uh, we just like lay everything down flat and then we'll fold up the tent. And I mean, it'll just be like a little bit bulkier, but it's just a lot easier to keep everything in there. And then when we're setting up tent, our camp, we just unfold the tent and then everything's in there. So it's pretty easy. <laughs> Our clothes, we, um, for half of our clothes, we bought these travel bags. So they come in like a few different sizes. Just like a larger one. And then here's the medium size one. Uh, we normally put like our two days of clothes in there. And then we have a, this large duffel bag from Amazon and we um, vacuum seal all of our other clothes so that, um, I don't know, just save space really. And then we just like uh, basically like filter out our clothes and then this way um, we're not pulling our big duffel bag out of the truck every single time we need clothes because that's like really annoying. Um, so we just put like the travel cubes with our two outfits in um, just a smaller duffel bag Like our gym bag and we keep them we just keep the gym bag inside of the truck so that it where it's like easy access So this is the duffel bag that we use to carry All of our clothes from Amazon This bin has all of our food stuff in it uh, so we have the jet boil. And then the, our French press. We just bring a pan, a little pan, some plastic plates, and uh, we use our Coleman. I have like a our my Yeti cup for my coffee. Then we have our utensils. We always bring a few because sometimes they get lost. There was one time we spent probably a half an hour looking for the spork. <laughs> we never found it. Alex thinks I lost it, but I think he lost it. Then we just have a spatula our concentrated camp soap. So the stuff that I was saying makes my hands really, really dry. Um, but it gets super bubbly. You just have to like do one little dash of the soap. Uh, and then I just use some water from the water port. And, and then uh, I just use like a paper towel to clean. 
then we just have uh, our circle pan. Here's some bowls in here. And then we also bring uh, some true lemon packets. This is normally what we use to flavor our water. We have just like lemon. Uh, we really like the peach one, the raspberry one. Um, then we also bring some sugar as well. We like to drink uh, unsweetened iced tea and then we just add like one lemon packet and then one uh, sugar packet. And then these are the, um, the bags, the vacuum seal bags that we bring. We just like stuff a bunch of clothes in there and then like seal it. And it comes with a, uh, a pump that you can use like if we don't have a vacuum where we're at. Um, this just kind of helps condense everything, especially because we are going through a bunch of different seasons from Arizona, Utah, Montana, to Canada. Um, in Utah, it's supposed to be like 100 degrees. And then when we get to Canada, um, we're pretty sure in the mountains, it's going to be cold. So we have to make sure that we have warm clothes and then also um, cooler clothes. Most of the things that we bought, they're all going to be from Amazon. They'll be in my Amazon list below. And then anything that's not from Amazon, I'll link below as well. Um, hopefully this video was helpful. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And then also don't forget to subscribe. Later.